Hi, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I have a design team project for Calico Collage to share with you today. This is a fairy journal using the fairy journal kit from Calico Collage. You can click the link below and it will take you to her shop so that you can purchase the kit. I had so much fun working with this. Um, I made a mini, um, it's close to a four by six in size. It's not exactly a four by six. Um, I don't have the exact measurements, but you can see by my hands here. I'll have the exact measurements in the description box. So the Etsy link, oh, I can't talk people, the Etsy link down below so you can purchase it if you would like to. But this is a curved spine journal that I made from scratch. I used some really heavy cardboard from like um, a toy box, like game kids game type box and I made a curved spine and then I did it kind of um, shabby on the edges the fabric is frayed and it's inked with um, some pink ink all around the edges I got this fabric from Goodwill I thought it was so beautiful and then there are six signature or, I'm sorry five signatures uh, six pages folded in half in each signature. So there's a lot of pages in this journal. And there's this beautiful fairy. It's kind of like a brooch. It didn't have a pin on the back, but this came from um, Brandy Butler. She, a while back, I made her some journals and she sent me a whole box full of goodies. And I hope I'm focused. There we go. She sent me a whole box full of goodies and I was going through the drawer. I have a drawer in my craft room. A lot of it had stuff she sent me and I was putting it in places that, um, you know, where I would use them more frequently and I came across this and I knew I had to use it. So it is really dimensional. It adds a lot of dimension to the cover, but um, it's because of the curved spine, it still lays well. And then here on the front, I have a piece of upholstery fabric. And then let your day be filled with magic. This is the sentiment that comes in the journal kit. I have exposed stitching. <laughs> so we have some stitching here and some beautiful flowers, ribbon flowers that are on here. And the flower, I kind of like it. But you can see here, I did one cross stitch. It was an accident. Um, but I did a cross stitch. And then here, I pulled this over to tighten the signature up because for some reason that signature was loose. Just one of my little hacks, people. You can always make it work. And then I added the flowers and I just think it still looks absolutely lovely. And then we have some eyelets and some really pretty pink ribbon. So let's get inside. So there's some green leaf fabric here in the spine. You can see it in between, of course, in between the signatures. And they're running and fighting every second. Hold on. Okay, I'm sure you heard some of that yelling and screaming, but I think crisis is averted. All right, so we have some scrapbook paper here on the inside with butterflies, a coffee dyed pocket, and then I printed her kit half size pretty much. So um, on my printer, I could choose to print full page or five by seven, four by six, different sizes like that. So we went to five by seven and then I did two per page. So pretty much halved her kit. So here's some little tickets from her kit. So they're super mini and tiny, and I added a button. And then here's a fairy song. Here's one of the journal pages. So all of the journal pages, I already had the cover cut and ready to go, and the journal pages printed at half size were just a little small. So I put them onto coffee-dyed paper and stitched around with various different fairy-like stitches. So there's a lot of sewing and prettiness around in here. So then it makes a really pretty stitched border on the other side for journaling. Then I added some different scrapbook papers. Here's a little tag with some ribbon and a little tag that came from the kit. Um, oh, and of course I paper clipped two pages together. There we go. Then I did some jelly printing on the back of all the scrapbook papers with vintage um, acrylic paints that my grandmother gave me. And some of them are kind of globby and gloopy, but I used them anyway. And I love the, it's like a chalky feel. It kind of reminds me of the Tim Holtz Distress Oxides, but it's just a super thin layer. And you'll see that all throughout. There's also book pages of gardens and flowers. I want to show you the stitching on this page. It's a little flower and leaves. Here's a little fairy from the kit, and I backed that with some lace. This is jelly printing here. And then here's this says happiness card. It's a stamp for journaling. Some butterflies from the kit. And then a little journaling card I made, and a little teeny journaling card from the kit. More jelly printing. 
a fairy from the kit backed with some uh, ribbon. I love the pages that I'm like from the kit. They're so gorgeous. I also had some Dollar Tree stickers in my stash that I thought were really pretty. I added some gold washi as well. And then their boys are playing Legos in the background. So if you hear that, hear noises, that's what that is. Play with fairies. And I just backed that. Um, here's more gorgeous pages from the kit. More jelly printing scrapbook paper. This has some gold foiling on the scrapbook paper. Jelly printing. They're just not happy. And then there's some like glimmer mist. Uh, I think it's actually Heidi Swap Color Shine. And you can see that I actually jelly printed with that. Music paper. Butterfly stamping. I just love this page. It's so watercolory. Believe. And then I just ripped this here and inked it up. Says living. More the stitching here. There's little tulips. I thought that was really cute. My sewing machine does a lot of different stitches. <laughs> Here's like a cross stitch pattern. Scrapbook paper. More jelly printing. This stitch stars which goes perfect with a journal page. There are a lot of pages in here. I need to hurry it up. Here's a little Tim Holtz I used as a tuck spot and then a journaling card. And beautiful, beautiful journal pages. Fairy wishing dust. I thought that was really cute. This was a scrapbook paper and it had a fairy with really glittery wings. I'm trying to get through this video without sound effects, but it's really not working. Really cute little wings that I had there. We're almost to the end here. Some butterflies from the kit. I think we're in the last signature. I still believe in fairies. There's some roses. A little fairy bingo card with some wallpaper. Hey, shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Now the baby needs the attention. They all do. I guess it was bad timing to film. If you can see here, there's butterfly stitching right there. Now I'm doing it one-handed because I'm holding him and he's talking all about it. Yes, he is. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, and now he sees the apples. I'm going to have to. Here we go. Really pretty, pretty pages. And ends with Fairy Whispers and Nevermore Creation signature in the back. So thank you for watching this video, for putting up with my um, peanut gallery and all the noises in the background. I will put the Etsy linking below and also the link to purchase the kit from Calico Collage. So thank you and have a wonderful day.